Hello, Stevie. So, Miss Stevie and I are out here for a ride. We're actually on our way home now because it windy. I mean, it is windy like crazy. Right out of the north, 20 mile an hour. Leave it to Nebraska to give us a day that's actually in the 60s in March, March 1st, and let the wind blow 20 mile an hour out of the north. Make it feel like it's 30. But we're on our way home now, so we thought we'd give you guys a little video. Oh, let's. What? I'm not gonna get off because I don't want to unplug my thing. But we're gonna be Stevie's bike. Ooh, blacktop devil sticker. A little bit of black up on the. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. I like that black. We got her a new GoPro mount, so she doesn't have to fiddle with that big one anymore. So wave hi everybody. At the can yeah, there you go. The camera. Hey, that camera stayed there though in that wind. It did. Pretty it's impressive. Not going anywhere. Yeah. Pretty impressive. I've got this stupid windshield on. I already regret it. So in this video, this is going to be an all Miss Stevie video. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Why? Because we want to know, with this being a new riding season, just starting, this is your second season of riding. So this is Miss Stevie season two, episode one. Well. This is really the first season, full season, though, that I'm... Yeah, that's true. For the first, where you're comfortable But I'm feeling confident. Yeah. You know, really. Yeah, so this is Miss Stevie Season 1, Episode 1. Because you've had that bike for just about a little bit over a year. It'll be two years in August, yeah. Two years in August, yeah. Yep. Hopefully the wind going south here isn't as bad. She still deals with the head and eyes thing there every now and then, as we just saw. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, that sun is hot just sitting there, though. Feels good. Yeah. Oh man, my exhaust is so much louder with this windshield on, though. Oh, the go. wind is so much better this way. <laughs> <Yeah>. So far. <laughs> yes, it is. So Amy, tell us tell us some of the things that you would like to see out of this new riding season coming up. I'd like to ride more. I mean, I didn't ride as much last year just because I was still not as confident as a rider. But I don't know, I just like to take some more day trips with my Fury. I know at some point I'm gonna want a bigger bike and I'll get there, but I feel like I can last on this thing. Although, I know it's, we'd have to stop every 100 miles to fill it, but. Yeah, but maybe that's like the perfect distance on that though, you know? Yeah. We'll find out. You, I think, I think personally, that you'll be ready for a bigger bike when we stop to get gas on that one and you're like, oh, it's out of gas already. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm already feeling that now, and we've been going short distances. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm already at 42 miles. Yeah. So, yeah. So I wish it had a bigger tank. But I guess one trip I really, really want to take again is going to the Sand Hills. Because it's a beautiful scenery, the winding roads. Man, your tail lights are bright. That's so awesome. It's so much better going south. Wow, I just wish we could keep going south. <laughs> In the future, I want to take longer, longer rides. Go back out to California. That was like one of the best trips ever. And actually going out there in the winter was like perfect. Yeah, but over the mountain, it was it was pretty cold. Yeah, I mean, what we also got out there into California, in Southern California, when they had like their only cold spell of the year, too. Yeah, but I think when it comes to that point, I'm gonna have to have a bigger bike. Yeah. I mean, We're I don't good. ever want to get rid of my Fury because it's, I don't know, I just love it. I love how it looks, I love how it rides. I love the paint job. So how many, or, out of our subscribers, how many have told you where they are from? Because well, I would like to know where they are from. Quite a few. Oh yeah, it's all over the place. So 
So, Miss Stevie, is there anything else that you would like to, to see us do, or? Well, I know I'm going to have to, at some point, explain Norwalk to everybody. No, oh, yeah. That's just scared to use it because they think, oh, no, it's cool. Yeah. But. It's got, it's got like little silver pieces, bits embedded into it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just so people understand what it is, and I'm not trying to just throw something at them to get a sale, because that's not how I work, but. Right. But it'd be nice and helpful, especially with writing. I mean, it sure saves us a lot of time with having a enviro cloth or a window cloth with us to clean our our mirrors and our helmets. Yeah. The bugs all off of it. Yeah. Just with water. I mean, you don't have to get wet wipes out. You don't throw it away. You don't have to waste. It's just always with you. You can spit on it and use it. I mean, <laughs> still gonna get it clean, you know. But also, I mean, just having less to, to pack. You don't have to have all your facial stuff for us, ladies. You right. can have a because, body cloth with you. Because there's, a, off. because there's a makeup remover, right? Right. But yeah. all of our stuff has silver in it, so as long as you have one of the cloths with you, I mean, not that I'm going to use an enviro cloth on my face. I mean, I could, but I mean, if that's the only thing I had, but then I don't feel like I'm all oily or gross because I need to get my makeup off or the... So we'll uh, we'll do a video on Norwex here coming up, but we're gonna have to end this video because we're gonna turn, oh, right. and the wind is gonna be crazy. So everybody, if you like these videos, though, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. Hit click the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road.